Hey everyone, it's Erica. Welcome back to my channel. Today I have a layout for the Bella Boulevard creative team and today is National Grilled Cheese Day. So I'm doing a layout um, documenting one of my favorite things, which is grilled cheese. Um, I love cheese and having cheese melted between two toasted buttery pieces of bread is even better. So I am using Bella products that I pulled from my stash. Um, I pulled some different sticker sheets, the 12 by 12 sticker sheets and some six by 12 sticker sheets, all from different collections. Also have an exclusive one here from a past um, She Loves Color event. Um, here is a paper, I believe this is Oh My Stars. And then um, I just backed it with different papers from different collections. What I love from I love about Bella is the this like the signature colors, um, so you can pull from different collections and everything goes really well together. The cut file is an alpha cut file from the cut shop, and I'll make sure to leave it linked down below. I cut it out in some white cardstock from American Crafts, and then backed it with the different papers that I pulled uh, from my Bella stash. And I've used my favorite colors: the pink, the aqua, the black and white, and yellow. And instead of using a plain white background this time, I did find this um, paper from Bella that is white, but it does have some um, like text all over it in um, different colors that kind of match the colors that I'm using with my cut file. And um, it's not bold or anything, so um, I think it, it looks just fine in the background. And it looks like that the words are like stamped out um, with like a date stamp or something, and, and they're just different words. I order I ordered I added a little border um, sticker to the bottom of the page and it's a polka dot uh, border from one of the 12 by 12 sticker sheets and actually the sticker sheet that I pulled it from like the colors on that sticker sheet did not match the colors that I was using there was a lot of reds um, blues like primary colors but there was punches of black and white on that sticker sheet so I did pull that one out and this black and white polka dot matches perfectly with the layout the photo, of course, is of um, my favorite grilled cheese sandwich. And of course, it's on a black and white plate, which goes perfectly with this layout. I'm just gonna mat it on um, some pink um, cardstock that I pulled from one of the Bella Boulevard six by eight paper pads. I love the six by eight paper pads. And then I'm also gonna add a layer of this black and white paper, again, from one of the six by eight paper pads. just to add a little bit of layer behind the photo. So for this layout, like I said, I'm not using just one collection. I pulled um, a bunch of stuff from a bunch of different collections and I think everything really goes really well together. I did pop up the uh, cut file on some foam squares or foam dots. I believe they're foam circles. Um, and now I'm just going to find um, some different stickers and embellishments um, to add to my layout and around my photo. I do not do a whole bunch of embellishing with this layout. Um, I just kind of tuck in a few things here and there. Um, I'm also gonna pull out one of the felt banners and use that as well on my layout. And you will see when I pull the felt banner out, um, I switch up the colors on the banners. Um, the one that I use, I believe it had a white heart on it and I pulled a pink heart from a different banner and added it to the banner that I end up using. So they're really easy to kind of switch out and um, customize to your needs um, to kind of match your layout or project. So I'm gonna position my photo um, over here towards the right of the layout. And I pop this one up on dimensionals as well. Kind of just looking at the sticker sheets that I pulled to see if there's anything else um, that I wanna add to my layout. Like I said, I will leave this cut file link down below, and I will also leave the blog post that goes with this video linked down below to the Bella Boulevard um, blog. Make sure you head on over there and check out all the inspiration and projects that have been shared recently. 
We will also be sharing um, projects with the new collections, um, our boxes. Most of our boxes for the creative team have arrived, so we are so excited to get started to share all of the new products. You guys are going to love them so very much. I am so excited. So I'm pulling out some of the Bella Heart Hugs and um, I'm gonna pull um, one or two of them out and add to my layout. There are the banners that I'm gonna use as well. And I like to keep my Bella embellishments on a binder ring like this. I just kind of flip through them and it just makes it easy for me. Um, this system just works really well for me. So you can see those banners there. There's one with a star and then one with a heart. I'm gonna pull that star off that black banner and then take the pink heart off the white banner and add it to the black banner. Um, very easy to do. I mean, they're really sticky, but they do come up um, fairly easy. And if for some reason you lose your stick after you pull it up, just add a little bit more adhesive um, and it's just fine. There you go. I'm just kind of switching it out. And I like that much better. So I'm going to add that to uh, my page. These felt banners are really fun to use on your pages. I'll kind of mess around with where I really want the, the um, banner to go, but in the end it comes um, peeking out um, behind one of the letters in the final layout. So I'm gonna add the foam dots behind the photo. And this week um, we are all doing projects um, for the certain day of the week. There's like a national day for everything. There's like National Puppy Day or National um, Pet Day, I think it was called. Um, and then National Siblings Day. There's like National Chocolate Cake Day. There's a day for everything that you could possibly think of. And usually there's more than one, um, one thing going on on each day. So I know it's National Grilled Cheese Day, but it's also... Um, there's also like three or four others that it is today. So I decided to do the grilled cheese because I absolutely love, love grilled cheese. And um, I have recently started keto and I don't know what I'm going to do because I cannot have the bread, the carbs. So I need to figure out a way to create a grilled cheese that is keto friendly. If you have any ideas or if there's anyone out there watching that's also on keto and knows how to do a keto friendly grilled cheese, let me know. So I'm gonna continue on embellishing. Um, I keep fussing with the photo placement, kind of pulling it up. I have this little heart hug here, and I'm gonna also um, playing around with this heart, but I do think I find a different heart on a different sticker sheet. Um, or maybe not, maybe I do stick with this one. I just cover up the center of it with one of the uh, word stickers from that um, Bella sticker book. And I love that sticker book. It has a ton of word stickers on there in like every color of the rainbow and it's perfect. If you do not have one of these and you can find one, I'll try to link it down below um, to scrapbook.com or to a cherry on top. And um, these are perfect embellishments for any layout. I did pull out these wonky hearts. Um, these are from Bella Boulevard, Bella Boulevard Illustrated Faith. Um, I pulled out the black and the yellow, but I only end up using the black. And then um, the last thing I do is my journaling and then add a, another strip to the top in the bottom of um, the layout, just at the top because I have the border at the bottom. And I did my journaling on some pink um, pattern paper from Bella Boulevard just to kind of mix things up a little bit because I usually use white. Um, and that is pretty much it. I have some still shots at the end for you guys. And if you have any questions, please let me know. I hope you enjoyed this fun and simple layout. Make sure to check out Bella Boulevard on Instagram, Facebook, and on their blog. I will catch you guys in the next video. Thank you guys so much for watching and have a wonderful weekend. Bye.